Good morning, gang. Happy Monday morning. We are back for more. So tomorrow is election day. And for all those that are saying we won't have it, I guess we'll know in 24 hours. But I still have always said, yeah, we'll have an election. How well it's going to go off. I'm trying to choose my words carefully. We'll see. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. The funny part is not funny, haha, but funny as in this is just enough to piss you off. Is we're still hearing all this threat to democracy crap. We're hearing all this, we've got to stop the violence, everything. Now, the threat to democracy, yeah, that would be not letting people vote. Hmm. Gee, I wonder which side is doing that. <laughs> Leftists, I'm talking to you. Okay. Uh, doing whatever. <clears throat> Tomorrow is going to be an interesting day because there are reports in numerous cities now that the National Guard is showing up to polling places to protect people to be able to vote. Okay. And as much as the leftists are going to say, oh, it's because of the violent right. <clears throat> yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry. You can keep trying to push that narrative, but the facts just don't bear it out. Why do I say that? Well, let's take a look at what happened over the weekend. Anybody hear about the uh, mysterious white powder that was mailed to Cary Lake's headquarters in Arizona? Okay, you know, anthrax or something like that. You know, I mean, who knows if it was baby powder or whatever it was. But even then, that's a threat. I don't see any Republicans sending something like that to the Republican candidate. Okay, just saying. Terrorist activities? Check mark for the leftists. I'm going to go up to Michigan. Okay, how about a rally there the other day? And uh, Tudor Dixon rally, she's the Republican candidate running against Gretchen Whitmer. The Michigan Republican Party chairperson was there, and a Gretchen Whitner, Whitmer supporter decided to attack her and bite her. And she's got the teeth marks on the arm to show it. And it was bad enough that she couldn't move her arm. I mean, this woman bit hard, okay? I don't know. Have we heard any stories about conservatives biting Democrats? Nope. Violence? Check mark for the left. Let's go to New York. There was a rally where you had Lee Zeldin and Kathy Hochul supporters, both running for governor in New York. What did we have? Oh, I don't know. There's video of a Kathy Hochul supporter strangling, male, strangling a woman who's a Lee Zeldin uh, supporter. Unfortunately, the crowd got in and got him off of her. Hmm. Violence? Checkmark. Left. This is the crap that you can expect tomorrow. All right? You're going to go to a polling place and you better have your head on a swivel. Unfortunately, it's against the law to carry a weapon to a polling place. Uh, but you better be careful. And certainly do not mention which way you're going to vote. Okay, No FJB t-shirts or anything like that. Just keep yourself out of trouble. Then you look at the bigger picture. Okay. And what is starting to be expected of all of this? Now, I, the aforementioned National Guard going to polling places. That's worrisome, okay? Granted, the National Guard is run by states. Please remember that. The National Guard is not a federal institution. It is a state institution. <clears throat> so the states are choosing that. And the states are the ones that are responsible for their respective elections. Please, please, please understand this. This is not the federal government sending troops. Okay? 
but where the federal government comes into play. And I'm going to give you this because I got a bunch of emails overnight about it. And I'm going to explain it real quick. Y'all know that I have about as much respect uh, for Hal Turner as I do for dog shit on the bottom of my shoe. All right. He's notoriously a fear monger, hypester, whatever. If any of you live in Washington, D.C., please confirm or deny this for me. Because I looked it up this morning about this 10-foot riot wall being put up around the Federal Reserve. Now, of course, some of you sent me pictures from different articles you read. I went up and looked at pictures, too. It's amazing that the pictures that are being shown, one shows a chain link fence, one shows a green fence, one shows what looks to be a concrete fence. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Okay? And like I said, Hell Turner is a notorious dirtbag. Could something be going up around the Federal Reserve? Possibly. <clears throat> I mean, we saw fences go up around inauguration, you know, the whole nine yards in Washington, D.C. before. But why, why if, and again, I'm going into a huge if because this is too early to come out to be proven or disproven. I can't find the story anywhere on any, I'd say legitimate, but you, you know what I mean, mainstream news source. I can't find this anywhere. You think that would be there. You know, I don't know, a wall around the Federal Reserve might be news. But why would something like this go up if it has? What are they worried about? Now, I've said many, many, many times, I have cash <clears throat> in the house going into the election tomorrow. All right. We don't know what's going to happen. And I've said before, don't expect, you know, all of a sudden the light switch to go off and everything to change in the country. That's not going to happen, period, all right? Sure, we may get a change of political party. We may get future decisions that aren't as stupid as the ones before. I mean, the, the biggest one, I hope, is that we cut off all this funding to Ukraine, all right, period, because <clears throat> we got enough problems around around here that we need to be paying for rather than helping Zelensky buy another $35 million mansion. Okay. But everything's not going to change after tomorrow. What will happen after tomorrow is you will see the rhetoric get ramped up like crazy. And... If the polls are correct, if the feeling across the country is correct, there's going to be a complete change of power in Washington, outside the White House, obviously. You're going to have a lot of <clears throat> memes of the screaming liberal, you know, that one woman whose face will be forever implanted in history is the biggest joke ever, crying when Hillary lost. But if you think that biting somebody, choking somebody, sending a white powder somewhere, chasing somebody down with a hammer, uh, yeah, the liberals are completely unhinged. And when they lose tomorrow, again, provided that we have, that's a good word I can look for, uh, there's no shenanigans tomorrow. Let's try that. They're going to come unhinged. And you're going to be constantly hearing the fascist, Nazi, the end of democracy. And there's enough lunatics out there that are going to take this to the next level. That's part of why I think the National Guard is around. Okay. If this gets hot quick 
tomorrow night. We won't know anything until the polls close, obviously. But into Wednesday morning, <clears throat> if that this gets hot, the National Guard's already called up. I'm not saying to expect it by any means. But be prepared in certain areas for restrictions. Be prepared for riots. Be prepared for road rage, violent acts, etc., etc. Tomorrow is going to be a day where go to the polls and go home. We're going to do a live stream tomorrow night for a while. Watch the results come in. Ought to be kind of interesting. I'm still figuring out how to try to set this whole thing up so we can do it. But <sighs> tomorrow is the first day of the rest of the life of this country. That's how important tomorrow is. And I know there's some people that are going to say elections don't matter, two wings of the same bird, yada, 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 yada. Okay, you keep believing that. Just, you know, you would, if you don't want to participate, then shut up. That's that's the only way I'm saying. You don't you don't believe in voting, that's fine. Then you have no right whatsoever to bitch about anything. Okay, my vote will mean teeny tiny little nothing because the chances of Tennessee flipping blue are less than zero. But I'm still going to go vote. Why? Because it's my civic duty. Right? It's the biggest right that I have being an American. There's a lot of people around this world that wish they could do what we all have the opportunity to do tomorrow. If you don't want to, that's up to you. Just like I said, in my opinion, you got no right to bitch then. We'll see what today brings. It ought to be fun. Have a good one. Pinball out.